Today, I'm revisiting Backrooms level 999, and it's bigger and more expansive than anyone remembers. Let's get into the explanation, shall we? So as many of you recall, level 999 is the final documented level of the backrooms on the Wikidot. It's a very enigmatic and anomalous one to go to, and when you're here, you're forced to admit and repent of your sins and wrongdoings from your life in order to get past it and get sent on to level 1000 and beyond. But it seems to have changed a little since I last covered it over a year ago, and it's gotten even more lonely. So I hope you're excited for me to cover this level again. This summer, I'm going to be going over levels that have expanded or changed or moved around in some way, so mark your calendar for that. Anyways, let's get into this one. Level 999 itself now has a classification rating of Class Final and has an unchanging landscape, structures, and is overall unchanging. The level used to have a classification of Undetermined, but now it's this. And the page starts off with a quote. Level 999 is nothing, end quote, which is obviously not true because it's something. But anyways, the level itself looks like a floating tropical island that's in the middle of a space-like void. The void itself has stars in it, which give this island a really eerie and enigmatic and anomalous light source. The entire island has a very unsettling and unnatural aura and energy to it, and everything around you just seems devoid of existence. It also doesn't help that everything is gray. Also, interestingly, this gray effect can completely change the color of objects that you bring here. So if you bring a water bottle here, it can turn gray, and then when you get out of the level, it'll still be gray. The geography of the island resembles the type that you'd see in, like, the Caribbean or Fiji islands of real life, but unlike the real-life islands, there's not any dips or rises in elevation. This island at level 999 is completely flat, and it's also not hot or steamy or tropical like real-life islands. It's cold. Very cold. The beach surrounding the island is a a smoky gray color and it expands out to the void that's underneath and around this island. There's also palm trees here too. Now pretty much what I've gone over so far is similar to the level 999 that we all remember from a couple years ago, but venturing deeper into the center of the island is where you'll start to notice some changes and some strange interesting anomalies will start to occur. As you begin to walk in from the edge of the beaches into the island, the trees and the undergrowth will become thicker and more dense and you'll start to see these floating rocks in the air around you. This is thought to be because of the gravitational differences here from the outside to the inside. It's thought that there's less gravity here. The level is also very windy sometimes, but even with this wind, none of the trees or dirt or sand move. They're completely still. It's almost like they're immune to wind. But moving past the beaches and forests and floating rocks will lead you to a part of level 999 that I didn't know existed, and I'm sure that you didn't know existed either. The structures. So deep inside the island's epicenter, there are these massive concrete, glass, and wood stone structures that seem to be shoved into the ground. These buildings are dark and they're devoid and barren looking. Everything feels empty and emotionless here. It's kind of like the whole level. The entire place just feels soulless and sad. These structures are surrounded by those palm trees and floating rocks like everything else, and they resemble houses, kinda. There are multiple of them placed in the center of the island, but none of them are connected, and they all look old and dilapidated. There's no paths leading to them. There's no paths leading from a house to house. It's all just in these random forest areas. The outside of the house looks very old and decaying, but on the inside, they're unchanged and empty. It seems like everything on this level is incapable of decaying. Either that or none of the stuff here is organic and it's all fake. Who knows? Like I said, none of the houses connect together with paths or anything like that, so you'll kind of just have to stumble upon them when you're walking through the trees. The inside of the houses here are dark and dank and empty and old and spooky. They're rarely decorated with anything and just nothing feels right inside of these structures. You feel alone and sad when you're here. And the only thing there to comfort you is your own thoughts. So good luck with that. Now these structures were not here two years ago on the level. So sometime in that time gap, the level has manifested them. Outside of the houses, when you walk around the level, you'll notice another new area, like this bench and table and umbrella area. Now these are very eerie to be in, but you need to find one in order to exit but more on that later. The scary part of level 999 is that even though things look slightly different, nothing can actually 
change. It's like the level is incapable of changing and moving and is destined to always be the exact same. Lonely, forgotten, and empty. There's nothing but you and your own thoughts that keep you company. And despite the thousands of people who have probably been here, the sand, the dirt, the trees, none of it has changed. It can't move. It's all stationary. The stones can't even be turned upside down. Nothing will ever change for eternity. So you better hope that you don't get stuck here because you probably get lonely. And the page ends with a quote. Even when the universe comes to its end, level 999 will sit as it always has. Never a single stone upturned. It is the ultimate constant, end quote. Which is a fancy way of saying nothing could change. Now the void part of the level is still the same as far as we can tell. If you jump off the edge of the island, you'll be no clipped back up to the top of the island, which gives it more of an inescapable feeling and more of like a you're trapped there sensation. You, know, you kind of feel alone and isolated here. And if you remember, there was one other thing about this level that I really haven't talked about yet, and it's that level 999 used to force you to accept all your sins and your misgivings in order to get past it and move on to the next level. No matter how small the sin or misgiving was, it could be stealing a pencil from somebody. You had to admit to it and ask for forgiveness. And in a way, the level still does that because there is nothing here that moves or changes except you. Since your thoughts are the only thing here and the only thing you can interact with, you're going to have to deal with all of your past misgivings in order to get to the next level anyway. But I'm sure after a while, you feel like you're going insane here, so I am going to help you try to find where the exit is. In order to escape this level, you have to find one of those bench and table and umbrella areas that I mentioned earlier, and you have to find an opening in the ground in that area, which will lead to level 106. Six, which in and of itself is a very scary level, but that's for another video. But this exit will take forever to find, and that'll leave you with your own thoughts and your own sins to think about for that entire time. Now, to enter level 999, you actually don't have to be on level 998 anymore. You can be on level 145, which is that prison level that I talked about a while ago, it's pretty much infinite, and the entrance here is deep, millions and millions of feet into that prison, and it's just a random cell. Most people find it by complete accident, and those who do are <laughs> very unlucky, because no one wants to get stuck with their own thoughts on a floating island in a void forever. So, good luck with that. Anyways, let me know in the comments what you think about the changes on this level. Do you think it was good to expand on it and find more information on it? Or do you think it was better in the old way? I personally think the new one's the best. I think the lore expanding is a good option. And I feel like it was kind of too vague last time. So I was really excited to check this one out again. Hope you enjoyed it. Go check out Toogly in the description for reactions and analysis and rants and that kind of thing. And Spoogly, my third channel, for more creepy internet horror content. And thank you for all that you do. Make sure to comment below uh, anything you want to to talk about the video. Video. I love seeing your comments and replying to them. Uh, you probably have seen where I heart like all of them because I literally just love reading them. Anyways, thank you for everything, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.